could fly But I believe I can touch the sky I think about it every night Wait, hold up, oh no Actually, I don't think about it every night and day Because I can't fly <laughs> I have no wings to spread and fly No way <laughs> In fact, the only way I'm flying is if I jump on a plane And ready to go somewhere Because, well Where am I going with this? This is the message for today, my dear brothers and sisters. Because whilst I was in secondary school, a friend of mine told me that whilst she was in primary school, one of her friends actually believed she could fly. In fact, many of you know that song, right? Yeah, that song. And when that song came out, it was a big hit. And this young girl at that point took it so serious that she really believed she could fly and she jumped off a three-story building. You know where that ended up right and the thing is this my brothers and sisters yes gravity kicked in so even if i believe i could fly and really do jump gravity is gonna have its way so the message for today is beliefs have consequences because no matter what you believe sometimes if it is you believe in something that is a lie or contrary to what it actually is of course it will have a consequence so let me jump into today's message and in fact once more thanks for joining me i am joanna and let's jump into today's message beliefs have consequences now for most of you who have read the account in genesis with adam and eve when eve was deceived into eating the fruit whatever it was but the point is she was deceived into eating the fruit and i'm sure that at that point she actually believed she will be able to be you know how knowledge you know, you're good and evil and be more like God because this is what he took on. Deceived her into thinking. And as we know that account, it did not go the way she expected, nor did it go the way Adam expected. Because the Most High gave them both a specific command, a specific command. And he instructed them to not eat of the tree of the knowledge of the right. But they still did. And in eating of that tree, the consequence stepped in because of their disobedience. And what was it? They sinned. And as, as we know, based on the scripture, the wages of sin is death. Because once we disobey the Most High, any of His commands is a sin. And even in spite of her belief in eating the fruit at the point in time, and Adam's belief that he could have partaken it with her, their consequence was very devastating in fact it left a lasting impression on the world today as we know it because sin entered in and i'm going to read from first john chapter 4 verse 1 to 3 and it says beloved believe not every spirit but try the spirits whether they are of god because many false prophets have gone out into the world and this is very key because it says believe not every spirit now the message is to help encourage us to really test and understand the spirit behind the message the spirit behind the thing the spirit behind the miracle or what seems to be a sign or some great wonder because a lot of people are so open to believing everything that comes at them that they aren't even testing they aren't even searching they aren't even investigating this matter now of course someone may not jump off a building believing that they could fly even though some people unfortunately did right or someone at least that i know of unfortunately did and even in that time of this individual believing in this that yeah she really could fly even in that point in her mind of her believing in that the consequence of her belief even though she survived thankfully the consequence was devastating broken bones and whatever else came with it and it shows brothers and sisters that we as kingdom citizens need to test because some of the doctrines we are believing in have consequences some of the theology we are believing in have consequences 
some of the pastors and teachers and prophets and evangelists and apostles that some of us are following believing that they are true and that they have a right relationship with the most high it has consequences because as we know the scripture tells us the blind will be leading the blind so i'm going to now read from isaiah chapter 5 verse 20 which says woe unto them that call good evil and evil good that put darkness for light and light for darkness that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter it says woe unto them and i am encouraging you to not be in that category of putting good for evil and evil for good because if it is we are believing in things that are evil or that isn't right or that is false and we think that that thing is true as I've said before in previous messages, if you believe in a lie, you eventually will be living a lie. So let's not live a lie. Let's not think we could fly. <laughs> but let us truly hold fast to the truth and believe in the truth. Because the consequence to living and believing the truth is eternal life. So thank you for joining me for today's message. Shalom.